the idea of it's not enough. 20 minutes is not enough a day. Huh? If you really want to have structural changes that last that on overpower what you hear on the news, which is also working actively to create networks in your brain, uh, you know, you have to be present. Uh, paying deliberate attention, as I call it, in other instances of your day. Absolutely. And I so often fail in this, right? I, I would uh, go with the kids in the woods and, and I'm, I'm not really there with them. Very often I would be on my mm. phone um, or I would send a message or even if I'm not on my phone or any other screen in my mind, I'm elsewhere. And so, as you said, when you are with the Dalai Lama or these Buddhist monks, they're, they're really doing this one thing. That's this yeah. human interaction. And we can learn from that and, and, and translate it to our realities. And you should ask my wife and, and, and the kids. <laughs> I, I think I made some progress. But it's, it's really possible. I mean, we brush our teeth every day. Um, and, and, and we do a lot of things um, in, in the house now in a different mm. way, right? So when we would cook, we would just do that and, and not try to optimize and multitask. And No. And, and then sometimes I had the impression I'm just losing my time here. I don't have time for that. You know, I got that and that. and my. But actually, and the studies again show, if you truly monotask and you give yourself time for one thing at a time, um, the, the task will be better managed and you will, you will do a better job. And so in the end, you even save I time. With you, so, so for me, this was really a, a paradigm changer. And I, I had wonderful retreats, um, but again, they end. And then what do I do? And so I, I truly believe and I invite each and every one to um, maybe be kind to yeah. yourself. Sometimes, as I said, in the morning, it's just chaos. I, I don't have the 20 minutes, but there is not a day where I would not meditate in one way or another. So the exercise we just did, I do it in the hospital, being confronted with families who have these, you know, biggest dramas from one day to the other. They, they lost their kid and traumatic brain injury and, and intensive care rehab. So I just... And the most challenging for me is the first one. If I do that between two consultations, this for me works. It, it, it really permits me to, to um, take on the next family and the next mm -hmm. challenges and to really be mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. for them. Um, and the same with the people who matter at home and um, what we do and, and why we do it. I mean, um, these big ethical challenges, the, the Climate is, is warming up and, and again, the young people are the ones who are pointing to the uh, necessity to take action and, 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 and sometimes we are just caring about the, the pseudo uh, emergencies and, and so to just sit and think about what really matters and nature, as mentioned, really invites yeah. us to do so. So I think we'll not find it as set in the metaverse, it's out there, it's, it's for free. Um, and in Canada, by the way, I can now um, prescribe a walk in one of the natural no way. parks. So this is yeah. wonderful. It's again, it's backed up by science. Um, go for a walk. Um, this will not, of course, replace whatever treatment you take, but it it will improve. It will it will help you.